So today we're gonna to be talking about how to get a robotic sound with your voice using an effect called a vocoder in FL Studio. You've probably heard a track that sounds like this from a band like Daft Punk, who used this effect a lot and really popularized it in my opinion. But I'm gonna show you how to make this almost robotic sounding thing from your own voice and using a simple plugin inside of FL Studio. So by the time you get done, you'll be able to add this texture to your songs and create a whole different layer of sound and a whole different layer to make your vocal sound more exciting in your music production. And I'm gonna show you how to do this with a very simple setup of a microphone, a plugin, and a MIDI keyboard to create this texture for your own vocal production. So let's jump in. All right, so now that we're in FL Studio, let's go ahead and set up everything so that we can use the vocoder. So I need to come into the mixer. If that's not open for you, go ahead and press F9 on your keyboard and that will bring up the mixer window. And then you need to find a track that is not being used by anything else in the project currently. And since I'm using a blank project at the moment, I can use any of these tracks that I want. I'm gonna go ahead and pick insert five or track five, however you wanna call that. And the first thing that I need to do is actually load the vocoder into that channel. So it's an effect. And so we have to load it from the effect slots that are on the mixer. So I'm gonna come down here to slot one. I'm gonna go over here under this miscellaneous section and you'll see it's down here underneath of picture. And you have to have the producer edition to be able to use this in a non-trial mode. So just go ahead and load that up. And this is the window that you'll see when you get started. So this is the default thing. And you're probably wondering like, okay, what do I do with this? So in order to get this plugin to work, you actually need two things. The first thing is the modulator and the second is the carrier. And those are just fancy ways of saying one thing that plays the instrument sound and then the other thing that uh, messes with that sound. And so we're gonna use our voice to be what is called the modulator. So that's going to mess with the sound that we're making. And then the carrier, we're gonna use the internal synthesizer in this plugin to make the sound. So we're gonna choose like a robotic kind of sound that you might be used to hearing with something like, I don't know, Daft Punk or Imogen Heat. So if I go down to this bottom, drop down menu and I'm going to choose the plugin that is called Machine. And so you heard it come up and it made that crazy sound, uh, say in vocoder or something like that. And now that's loaded up to start using. So I'm gonna come over here to this input section of this channel. I'm gonna use the drop down and I'm gonna choose input one. And let me mute the vocoder so it doesn't sound really distracting. But what we're gonna be doing is the voice, my voice is going to be going into the microphone and then that is going to be affecting the sounds that we're making internal to the um, Voc Codex plugin. So I'm gonna be using my MIDI keyboard to trigger chords and then I'm going to use my voice to then uh, do some modulation on that. So check. Check, 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 check. Check. All right, so I had to go in and like tweak and dial in the things to get the sound that I wanted. So the first thing that I ended up doing was actually going into the Vocodex plugin and I actually changed out to Machine 2. I liked the vocoder sound on that one a little bit better. And then I just, I turned the carrier volume down. I turned this SG, which is the sound godizer up. I turned the wet knob up a little bit. And then I just messed a little bit with some of these other settings. Uh, I think I turned this uh, carrier pass through frequency up a little bit and did a couple other just minor adjustments. And then I'm playing the chords on the MIDI keyboard. Just So I think you could use that in a really interesting way just to give some texture to a vocal or if you wanted to use that as the main thing, you absolutely could do that too. One way that I could see doing this is if you recorded a vocal part and then you just wanted to add some texture, or a layer underneath that to make it sound a little more full, to give it a little bit more ambience or something unusual to make it stick out a little bit more. 
I would probably record that underneath of what's happening in the melody. So in order to record those things at the same time, potentially, you would need to make sure that your vocal mic, maybe you set it up on a different channel and then you would pass your audio into the vocoder channel as well and then set up to record both of those. So in order to do something like that where I would record the voice, the, the main voice that's singing that melody and then pass that melody into this channel as well, I would set it up on, let's say, let's come back over here, drop the input. So I'm coming over here to a blank one and I'm going ahead and setting this up on input one. So that's coming through channel six and then I would route it here to insert five as well. And that way the voice would be by itself and then you would also have the vocoder. So you could record both those things at the same time if you had them both enabled. So let me do this real quick and then I'm gonna record both of them at the same time. So I'm gonna get into song mode and I'm gonna come over here to, and I am going to do a quick recording of this. So they're both armed for recording. I'm gonna turn them on so that you can hear them again, and then I'll record both of those and show you kind of what it's doing. So here's the main vocal that's gonna be recorded in, and then here's the vocoder. I never knew that you could be so All right, so now we have the vocal recorded and then also the vocodex recorded. So the vocoder portion sounds like this. And then the actual just vocal piece by itself. So it's just an interesting way that you could record a part of your vocal and then also just create this other texture underneath of that. Obviously you'd have to do some mixing to get your vocal sounding right. And I have a couple of videos that you can check out. Um, I'll try to leave a link in the description as well about how you can do a pretty simple mix with your vocal with just a few plugins to make it sound a lot better and a lot more full than you would like it sounds right now is not mixed. And then being able to do some simple things just to make it sound a little more professional and then this would be another layer that you could add in to build some more texture into the song that you're creating. It can be really daunting when you're trying to figure out vocal mixing in general, just because it feels very complicated. It feels like you have to understand a lot of different things. I've created a free cheat sheet for you to figure out how to do some basic vocal mixing to give yourself a little bit more of a professional feel to the vocals that you are putting together for your songs. If you'd like to get access to that, there's a link in the description below where you can download that for free. And if you aren't subscribed, go ahead and click the subscribe button below, turn on the notification bell so you can get alerted every time I post a new video on music production for songwriters and music producers. And I will see you in the next round.